Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. Today in this tutorial we'll draw this model using four workbench here in FreeCAD. We'll use part design, curves, draft and part workbench to create this model. So this will be another practical exercise that we'll do here in FreeCAD. So now let's go to FreeCAD and now create a new document. Click on this plus icon and now switch to part design workbench. Okay. And first here, we start this model by drawing a cylinder with this diameter here, 200, and a height of 250. So, okay, now here in the part design workbench, go to Active Tools and click in this arrow and now select Active Cylinder. Okay, now press Home, and first here we'll select a plane for this cylinder. So, for this cylinder, select XY plane. Okay, and now change the rates of this cylinder to 100 and the height here set 250. Okay, and now press home and click OK. Okay, now we have the cylinder here and the next operation here is to create this fillet here in this edge. So what we need to do here is to first select this edge here and now go to the fillet tool and change the reds here to 10 millimeters okay and now click ok and now as you can see we have this fillet operation here and the next thing here is to create a, a pocket here in this face as you can see here so what you need to do is to first select this face here and now go to the thickness tool okay as you can see here we have a pocket Okay, and in the bottoms of this operation here, we'll check this option, make thickness inwards. And now let's add the thickness of this operation. So here we can see this external diameter, 200, and this internal diameter here, 109. So thickness here will be 5 millimeters. And now click OK. And now as you can see, we have this pocket here. Okay, and next here we'll create this part here. To create this part, we'll, we'll use, we'll create a new sketch. And then we'll use the revolution tool to create this part here. So first here, what we need to do is to create a new sketch. Click on this icon and here you can select axi plane or YZ plane. I select axi plane. And now here, click on this icon to switch to the section view. Now zoom in and go to sketch geometers and select external jump tool and now extract this edge here. Okay. And now select polling tool here in sketch geometers and draw the sketch. Okay, and now select the fillet tool, select this fillet tool, you will create these fillets here. And select these two lines, okay. And okay, now select this equal constraint here and we'll set these two lines equal, okay. And now let's constrain these two points here, select these two center points and set constant. Okay, and first here we'll set the ridge of these arcs here, these fillets. So here we can see a ridge of 10 for this arc here. So what we do here, we select this constraint cycle tool and we set 10 here. Okay, and now as you can see, we have three degrees of freedom here. So first here, what we'll do, we'll select this horizontal distance tool. And here we'll set the length of this line here. So for this length here, we'll set 5, the value of the thickness. And now we'll set this distance here. You'll we'll set, we'll set 20 minus 5. Okay, so here will be 15. Okay, and now select this vertical distance tool and select this point here and this point. And now we'll set 20. Okay, 
and now as you can see we have the sketch full constraint it so now close the sketch and now select this revolution tool okay and now as you can see we have this part here click ok and next here we'll create a fillet in this edge here as you can see here and the range of this fillet will be 5 so first here select this edge and now click in this fillet icon and set 5 here and click ok okay now we have this fillet and the next thing to do here is to create these these holes in this part okay to create this we'll use the curve is workbench and draft and part workbench but first here we'll start by creating this sketch here in the surface here okay so first here we go to the curves workbench select curves here and now select this face here and then this icon here okay and now go to model and as you can see now we have this object here in the tree view so now clicking this arrow here and double click in this sketch here okay switch to section view click in this icon and now hide these constraints here click in this icon and what we'll do here first we'll draw a cycle so now select this cycle tool and draw this cycle and now we'll consider the demo of this cycle so select this constraint here then click in this cycle and here we'll set a demo of 20 this dimension here okay and now we'll set the placement of this rectangle of this cycle so first here what we'll do we'll select this vertical distance tool and here we'll set this distance 50 from this point here to this point 50 okay and now select this horizontal distance so select these two points again and here we can set 12 okay it's okay and now click in this icon to hide these constraints okay and the next thing to do here is to create these cylinders okay to do that first here escape and now select this edge here and then this point and now go to rectangular array tool and here we'll set seven columns and one rows as you can see here we have seven cycles okay so now click ok and click off and now as you can see we have these seven seven cycles here okay and as you can see the sketch is full constraint it but you need to change for example the horizontal distance between this point here to this point is 48 so first here what we need to do is to delete this this angle constraint here click this angle constraint and delete and then change this dimension here to 28 okay and now select this horizontal distance tool select this point here and then this point and set this distance here 48 okay and now as you can see we have this sketch full constrained so now click in this icon to leave this sketch and now as you can see we have these parts here so now we go to the sketch and surface object and here we go to the settings and first here here in the fill face we set through here and the thickness here will be 10 okay as you can see we have a extrusion of these cycles so now let's set our set here we will set our set of minus 7 enter and now as you can see we have this part here okay and next here let's create these all holes here so now we go to the draft workbench click in the workbench selector and select draft workbench okay and here what you need to do first here select the sketch on surface object and now click in this arrow and select polar array and here we'll set the number of elements you'll set 24 
so I'll change here to 24 and click again here in this bottom we need zero values here and now click OK and as you can see we have these parts here and this body part so now I click in this icon to hide this grid here and now here as you can see we need to create holes in this in this part here the way to do that is to use the part workbench so now we go to the part workbench and and here to create these holes we'll use the cut tool this tool here so what you need to do first here we need to select this body and then this array here and now click on this icon cut and now as you can see we have holes here in this part okay so the design of this model is finished if you find this video useful please leave a comment a like and share this video with your friends okay thank you all for watching this video and please if you like my work support me on my qualify page